Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brass Tax Experience. It's your boy, Brass Tax Baby. You already know. If you're hearing extra sounds in the background, that's the rain hitting the window pane, if you get what I'm saying. Up here in the UK, we've got crazy floods, storms, hurricanes. Hey, imagine waking up in the morning, walking downstairs, and you just see nothing but water. Your OLED, your QLED, floating across the living room. I'm not going to lie to you, I would cry. I would cry, because that's force majeure. That's an act of God, which means insurance companies aren't insuring that. So basically we're screwed. So let's talk about Midsummer. I got absolutely bombarded in my inbox. People wanted a review of this. They're saying, look, Italy have got the release. You've got to review it. And you know, peer pressure. So I thought, okay, let's do it. First thing I want to say, I don't usually get German imports. I don't make a habit of it or Italian imports uh, only because, you know, they've got a bit of a stigma attached. You know, when uh, you get 4Ks from there, they're not really as good as they should be. But like I said, a lot of people were asking, so the curiosity got the better of me. Damn it. I think the UK specifically got the director's cut on the 1080p Blu-ray. That's what I saw, and I thought it was a pretty good movie. Not amazing. A lot of people feel it's a masterpiece. I'm not on that boat. I feel like Hereditary was a better movie, a better paced movie, but not taking anything away from this. This is good, but to me, not as good as Hereditary. But I will say this. Now, director's cuts, for the most part, to me personally, are a bit hit and miss. Some are good and some are just adding shit for the sake of adding shit. But what I will say about this movie, having watched the theatrical and the director's cut, the director's cut is vastly superior. It's a more complete movie, in my opinion. And if one had the choice between the two, I would definitely recommend you see the director's cut. Now, unfortunately, this, can you hear the rain? God damn. Now, unfortunately, the director's cut is not present on this 4K disc. It's only present on the 1080p, and I believe you lucky guys over in the States, get the director's cut on 4K digital. So that's definitely something to note. You may want to go the digital route. But I've said my bit now, let's just get down to it. It was shot in 8K. 8K, damn. 4K digital intermediate. HDR 10, a 200 by one aspect ratio, which means you're still going to get the black bars, but not much. It's practically most of the screen. So you're going to be happy with that. The more screen, the better. Two hours, 27 minutes, theatrical cut. What can you do? A DTS HD 5.1 is a 100 gig disc. And that's pretty much it as the tech specs are concerned. So what does a movie shot in 8K with a 4K DI look like? Stunning. This movie is dripping with detail. Close-ups from faces look fantastic. You see everything, pores, wrinkles, individual strands of hair, textures on clothing, creases in clothing, even the grass. A lot of this is in the field. A lot of this movie takes place in the field and, and just individual blades of grass and the trees in the background is all very picturesque and stunning. The cinematography is great in this movie, which helps. Everything looks so picturesque and looks so vivid. There's tons of aerial shots, tons of overhead headshots as well and you get to see the whole scene the whole woods everything it just looks pretty spectacular for the most part even the nighttime shots are bursting with detail black levels are great shadow detail is great it's a gorgeous looking disc for the most part the only issue i have with this disc is that on rare occasions and i do mean rare the picture can look a tad soft here and there but these are rarities, you're not going to see much of it for the most part, it's absolutely gorgeous. With a great, great sense of depth, great 3D pop in this. Great 3D pop, great foreground, great background, great sense of space between characters. It really is a great looking disc that absolutely destroys the 1080p counterpart. And in my opinion, that's not even the standout of this disc, so let me ask you. You want to know what the HDR is like? So basically, you're driving by the countryside. You're driving in a secluded location, somewhere in the woods, right? You've got your shotgun with you. You've, the reason you've got your shotgun is because you want to do some target practice because it's a brand new shotgun. You've just bought this bitch, so you want to give it a try. You stop the car, get out, pick up your shotgun, and then you hear some commotion in the woods. You're thinking, what's going on? There's some screaming going on. Something's not right. So you slowly maneuver your way through the woods until you see this massive cult. 
there's a whole bunch of people, maybe 30, 40 people. And laying on the table is Margot Robbie in this bitch. Guess what? They're performing some satanic ritual and she's screaming for her life. And you say to yourself, Margot Robbie ain't dying on my watch, not today, not today. You're like John Rambo on crack. You're shooting the shit, blowing shit out of everybody. You untie Margot Robbie from the table, drag her to the car. You get going and you drive her to safety. No one's chasing you because they're all dead. You drive her home. You said, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I need a drink to calm my nerves. You pour her some brandy. Brandy then turns into wine, turns into more wine. Before you know it, she's looking at you like you're her personal hero, which you are. And she's realized you're just amazing. She's feeling all these uncontrollable feelings towards you. She slams her wine glass down, struts over to you. Click, 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 the high heels click in your direction. She grabs your hand, takes you upstairs and shows her appreciation. That's what the HDR is like. This is a HDR panty dropping extravaganza. This is amazing. Even from the very start, you're gonna notice how bright the 4K Blu-ray is. It is so bright, so vibrant, dripping with color. It may even be too bright to watch in the dark sometimes. It really is extremely bright, extremely dark. That's what the HDR is all about. Inky Blacks, the brightest brights. You're gonna need shades to watch this movie. There's a scene in a reasonably dark room. You've got the sun rays coming through the window, shining through the window. It looks gorgeous great contrast levels on here and we haven't even got started on the wider color gamut of this great colors nice and vibrant when it needs to be but it's still natural skin tones it's not oversaturated and it really does put the 1080p blu-ray disc to shame you can see individual leaves on the trees all the colors pop different shades of green different leaves different colors on leaves it looks really really good flesh tones look more pronounced and you know you've got color and you've got 4k that's going to create more color depth more three-dimensional pop it really is an amazing implementation of the wider color gamut and hdr it's gorgeous people now if the hdr don't get the panties dropping if that doesn't impress your girl then i'm gonna be honest with you you need to take her to an optician but if you don't have time for that then you just tell your girl to sit on the woofer and see what happens. You know what's going to happen? She's going to have a good time, but not a great time. Because surprisingly, the HD 5.1 track on this is pretty atmospheric for what it is. Great surround sound. Okay, you're not really getting the overheads, but you are getting a lot of detail in the sound that I wasn't really expecting from this mix. Vocals are center stage, clear, pronounced, and there's a lot going on in the fields, in rooms, and you do hear it around you. There's quite a large, wide soundscape. This could have benefited from an Atmos track because obviously would have added more atmosphere. There are some scenes where you kind of wished it had Atmos because you want to look above you. You want more object-based sound. The 5.1 doesn't do that. It does enough, but it just doesn't do that. So your girl gonna be sitting on the woofer unsatisfied. It's got it going, but it hasn't really done the job. So she's gonna look at you to finish the job if you get what i'm saying and there's my review on it people this disc gets the brass tax seal of approval baby you know i almost gave it reference quality that's how good it looks but the couple of soft scenes in between here and there just ever so slightly you know if a reference is a 9.5 and above this is a 9.4 do you know what I'm saying? So it's very well maybe a reference disc, but I'm just giving it a sale of approval because just a pubic hair away from reference to me personally. And the sound lets it down, right? The sound I'm going to give a 6, a 6.5. Uh, it's not bad, but it needs an Atmos on this. And the second problem I have with this is that it's not the director's cut. If this was a director's cut disc, it would be a must-have a must have it's the definitive version to get but you've got it on digital 4k so it's going to show the same results i've just reviewed it's going to look amazing on digital as well so it's totally up to you but if you want the physical disc you're not going to go wrong you're not going to be disappointed i'm gonna leave a link for amazon in italy and you can go and have a look and decide if you want to pick it up or not uh see how you guys feel and yeah people that's pretty much it subscribe if you haven't already 4k rockstar you already know.